name is Betty Shelton. I'm going to read a story to you. As I read the story, I'll ask you some questions. When I ask the questions, please pause the video and answer the questions with your family. When you're done answering the questions, please listen to the video again. The title of this book is called Write This Very Minute by Lisa H. Differson and illustrated by Renee Carilla. When you're looking at these pictures, what do you think this book might be about? Think of some things that you would do with the food and the objects that you see in these pictures. Point to the picture and then tell something about it. Use the word in a sentence. What's that you say? You're hungry for breakfast? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. What is a farmer? You have the stories of so many right here on your table. What does it mean? Why would we need a farmer to get pancake? Why would we need a farmer to have orange juice or maple syrup? Right this very minute, in a citrus grove, a grower tests oranges for ripeness. When the fruit is ready, the harvesting crew will pick the oranges, which will be squeezed into the juice you drink in the morning. When you're looking at the picture, how many people are involved in the process of picking the oranges in this particular picture? If you eat an orange, are you actually getting orange juice? Right this very minute, in a new field on a wheat farm, a farmer drills furrows with perfect depth for seeds. Your pancakes were made with wheat that was grown, harvested, and then ground into flour. Can you find the tractor? Do you have a tractor at your house? What, hap what does a tractor do? What's its job? Right this very minute, in a sugar bush, sugar bush filled with maple trees, a sugar maker replaces an old collection bucket with a new tubing system to carry maple syrup, maple sap, to a storage tank. The sap will be boiled down in evaporators until it becomes thick and sweet like the maple syrup you've poured into your pancakes. Why are all these blue strings all over the trees? How are we going to get mer um, how are we going to get maple sap and syrup out of these trees? They're just trees. What's that you say? You'd like a snack? Right this very minute, then you need a farmer. You have the knowledge of so many right here in your hands. What kind of things do you see in the bowl? Right this very minute, as the sun sets on a cranberry marsh, a grower starts protecting the crop from frost. The grower will be up all night checking the sprinklers that keep the plants from freezing. Also, cranberries can be part of your trail mix. Do you like cranberries? Do you think they're sour? Do you think they're sweet? Do you think they're tart? Do you think they're salty? Right this very minute on a southern farm, a peanut farmer installs soil sensors to make sure that the fields aren't too wet or too dry. The sensors help the farmer decide when and how much to water these sensitive plants. When it asks if it's too wet or tr too dry, why does that matter? If you've ever had a garden in your yard, think about what happens if there's too much water or too little water. What happens to your plants? What's that you say? It's time for lunch? Right this very minute, you need a farmer. What are these people doing in the picture? 
What do they need during this time? What do you think is in their lunch boxes? What do you think they're gonna do with that soccer ball? You have the hard work of so many right here in your lunchbox. How many farmers do you think were involved in her lunch? Right this very minute, a dairy farmer tends the cows. The cheese in your sandwich was made with milk from cows that must be milked at least twice every day. Whether it's a weekday, a Saturday, a birthday, or a holiday. They don't get off work. They have to work every day. What happens if they don't milk the cows every single day? What do you think happens to the cows? Right this very minute, farmers till and test the soil for nutrients to make sure it's healthy before planting seeds that will grow into long, crunchy carrots. Do you like carrots? What could you put carrots in? Could you eat them just like that? Do you like them better cooked or raw? Right this very minute, an apple grower works with a beekeeper to bring beehives into an orchard. Hundreds of thousands of honeybees will pollinate the pale pink blossoms, helping each tree grow many bushels of apples for you to enjoy. What's happening in this picture right here? Why are they wearing those costumes? Why did bees, why are bees necessary in the production or the growth of apples? What's that you say? You're ready for dinner? Right this very minute, you need a, you're right, a farmer. You have the pride of so many right here on your plate. Do you like any of the foods that you see on the plate? Which one's your favorite? Which one is your least favorite? Right this very minute, a cattle rancher moves the herd to a wide pasture to graze. She cares for the cows and welcomes their calves into the world. What's the difference between a cow and a calf? What's the difference between a calf and calves? When the calves are old enough, they will move to a new pasture or feeding yards before they are harvested for the beef that will be made into hamburgers. Do you like hamburgers? Do you like cheeseburgers? Which one do you like better? Right this very moment, a farmer plans a crop rotation schedule to keep the soil healthy and grow more of the very best vegetables, like the potatoes you've topped with broccoli and cheese. Why is it important to rotate the crops? What does it mean to rotate? Right this very minute, some farmers prepared produce for delivery to grocery stores and others box it up to sell at the local farmer's market. Have you ever been to the farmer's market? Have you ever been to the grocery store? Where do you buy your fruits and vegetables? How many jobs do you see? Or how many jobs did you hear about on this page of the story. Before lettuce and tomato ever get tossed in a salad or put on top of a hamburger, they must travel from farm to hungry customers. It looks like this factory has a lot of employees. Is that a job that you would like to have? What's that you say? You like dessert? right this very minute, you, then you need a farmer and sometimes a whole farming family. You have the dedication of so many right here on your fork. What is that dessert called? Right this very minute, a grower checks the weather forecast in a family-owned strawberry patch 
while workers help hundreds of visitors pick their own strawberries. Have you ever picked your own strawberries? You can go to a farm where you can pick your own strawberries and you can make yummy things like strawberry shortcake, strawberry milkshakes, or maybe even strawberry pie. Right this very minute, a family checks their backyard co-op to make sure the chickens have enough feed and fresh water. Why do animals need to eat and drink every day? Then they collect eggs that, make it, that get made into foods like the shortcake in your bowl. What's that you say? You want to grow your own food? right this very minute? Then you need to think like a farmer. If you wanted to think like a farmer, what are some things that you could do? What are some supplies that you would need? What would you like to grow? Right this very minute, you and your friends, family and neighbors can work together to choose which crops to grow in your garden. In a few months, you will enjoy healthy snacks and meals made with fruits and vegetables that you harvest yourselves. Every single day of every year, farmers tend their crops, care for their animals, and work hard to feed their family and yours. Next time you eat your breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, or dessert, remember that somewhere right this very minute, there is a farmer to thank for your delicious foods. And if someday you decide to become a farmer, right that very minute, you'll be doing your part to feed the world too. If you could be a farmer, what type of farmer would you be? What would you grow? Who would you have help you? I've enjoyed reading this book with you.